55th anniversary of the foundation of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has traversed the road of socialism, flying high the red flag of sacred Mount Baekdu over half a century. The Republic, which is making a new history of building a great prosperous path nation under the flag of Sun Gun, celebrated its 55th birthday in September 2003. Foreign friends are on their way to visit and congratulate this country, which is full of glory and happiness over the reclamation of Kim Jong-il as the supreme leader of the state at the first session of the 11th Supreme People's Assembly. Colorful celebration functions are being held in all parts of the country, among them the ceremony of unveiling an inscription made on a rock in praise of the great leader Kim Jong-il on occasion of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic. Exhibitions and other displays are being held in Pyongyang, the capital, in celebration of the 55th birthday of the Republic. These exhibitions and displays are impressively showing the greatness of President Kim Il-sung, who founded socialist career of people sent the country on this land, the anti-Japanese heroine Kim Jong-suk, who rendered distinguished services in the sacred war to win back the sovereignty of the country, and the great leader Kim Jong-il, who is carrying forward a chuche oriented revolutionary course at its helm. The visitors are convinced that the history of 55 years of the Republic is the history of outstanding and seasoned leadership of President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il. Looking up at the image of Kim Jong-il, who has made immortal achievements by leading the party, the army and the people, the visitors feel their hearts swell with the pride and self-confidence of being the citizens of the Republic under its preeminent leadership. A photograph exhibition is being held on the occasion of the first anniversary of Kim Jong-il's visit to the far eastern region of Russian Federation. Here are displayed photographs of Kim Jong-il, who is carrying on energetic diplomatic activities to consolidate and develop the traditional friendship between Korea and Russian Federation.
Working people of different strata are in excitement and delight at greeting the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic. The Korean people are optimistic of the prosperous future of their country under Kim Jong-il's leadership. The Heroes Conference in the Sungun Age is open in anticipation of the 55th birthday of the Republic. At the conference, the congratulatory message from the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and the Party Central Military Commission is conveyed to the attendants at the conference. Pointing out that the Heroes Conference in the Sungun Age will be an important occasion to call on the entire party, the entire army and all the people to make a new heroic advance. The message warmly congratulates the attendants at the conference, all the officers and men of the People's Army and the people who have performed heroic feats for the country and revolution in support of the party and the leader and are brilliantly carrying out the party's Sungun revolutionary cause. The reporter says that the officers and men of the People's Army and the people have adorned the age brilliantly with new heroic feats and events in support of the Sungun politics of the Workers' Party of Korea, an absolutely revolutionary statesmanship. Those who take the floor talk impressively about the trust and benevolence of Kim Jong-il, who has led the soldiers and people to perform heroic feats during the fierce anti-U.S. confrontation and in the gallant struggle to build a great prosperous powerful nation throughout the years of Sungun Revolution, which is replete with trials, spoken highly of their small merits and beautiful behavior by valuing them and has awarded a precious title of hero to them. They say that in the country which is led by an outstanding leader, the whole society will always be filled with a heroic spirit and that an army of heroes will grow up. The conference has adopted a letter of appeal to the officers and men of the People's Army and the people and called on them to live and fight like heroes united more solidly behind Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, meets the participants of the Heroes Conference in the Sungun Age and congratulates them. This army of proud heroes has grown up under the care of Kim Jong-il, who has ushered in the Sungun Age, a new age of heroic feats.
The conference sends greatest glory to Kim Jong-il, the peerless hero, who is leading all the soldiers and people to the heroic struggle and the ever-victorious banner of Sun Gun. The Korean people and their army feel the greatest happiness in vigorously accelerating the revolutionary cause of Chuche with confidence in victory and optimism under Kim Jong-il's leadership. Kim Jong-il expresses his expectation and conviction that the attendance at the conference will live and fight heroically in the forefront of the advance in the new century and thus discharge their responsibility and play their role as the front rankers of the times. All the attendants at the conference are determined to perform new heroic feats in the defense of the country and in building a great prosperous powerful nation with a belief that safeguarding the leadership of the revolution with lives is the highest expression of heroism. The scene of souvenir photographing is vibrant with a pride and self-confidence in having reclaimed Kim Jong-il as the supreme leader of the republic. All the deputies to the 11th Supreme People's Assembly have pledged to strengthen the revolutionary power under its leadership and accomplish the Chuche revolutionary cause. Entertainments are given in all parts of the country in celebration of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic. A concert is given by the merited chorus of the Korean People's Army in celebration of the occasion in the Plaza of the Arch of Triumph, which symbolizes President Kim Il-sung's immortal achievements of having won back the sovereignty of the country. Revolutionary army songs reverberate across the plateau, where the crowds hailed General Kim Il-sung as the liberator of the country on his triumphal return home after driving out the Japanese imperialists. The musical entertainment demonstrates the unswerving will of the soldiers and people to hold President Kim Il-sung as the eternal president of the republic. The music and dance ensemble Song of Motherland of Sungun Politics and other performances given in celebration sing loudly of the proud 55 years of the republic. The entertainments convince the audience that the history of the Republic is glorious and that its future will be bright as a powerful socialist state of Chu Che under the leadership of Kim Jong Il, the brilliant general of the Sun Gun era.
In celebration of the 55th birthday of the Republic, the students and school children of Pyongyang are giving mass gymnastic performance Sungun Korea. The mass gymnastic performance unfolds an impressive epic of the Republic's proud 55 years of advance under the leadership of President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il. The students and school children powerfully demonstrate their steady growth under Kim Jong-il's care to become successors to the Sungun Revolution. The young gymnasts powerfully demonstrate the Korean people's unshakable will to build a reunified, prosperous country by breaking through whatever trials and solid unity behind Kim Jong-il. Artists from many foreign lands are also giving performances on their visit to Korea on the occasion of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic. While warmly congratulating the Korean people on their festive occasion, the foreign artists are feeling boundless reverence for Kim Jong-il, who is respected and trusted by everyone. On the occasion of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic, high-ranking officials of the party, state and armed forces are on a visit to the Kumsasan Memorial Palace to pay deep respect to President Kim Il-sung, founder of the Republic and father of socialist Korea. Officers and men of the People's Army, people from different strata and foreign friends are also on a visit to the Kumsasan Memorial Palace to pay homage to President Kim Il-sung who dedicated all his life to the cause of the people's happiness and the country's prosperity. Mansoor Hill overflows with a vistous yearning for President Kim Il-sung. People from different walks of life are paying highest respect to President Kim Il-sung who led the people to become masters of the country and lead independent and creative lives for the first time in the country's history of 5,000 years. 
On the occasion of the 55th birthday of the Republic, high-ranking officials of the party, state and armed forces, officers and men of the People's Army and people from all walks of life are laying wreaths on the Tessons and Revolutionary Martyrs Cemetery, the Patriotic Martyrs Cemetery and the Monument to the Victorious Fatherland Liberation War. The visitors are paying respect to the martyrs who in loyal support of the leadership of President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il dedicated themselves to the struggle to win back the sovereignty of the country, to accomplish the socialist cause and to reunify the country. On September 9, 2003, a grand parade and a mass rally were held on Kim Il-sung Square in celebration of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. At 10 o'clock in the morning, Kim Jong-il, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, Chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army appeared on the platform of the square. All the people in the square are raging cheers of excitement for Kim Jong-il who has effected a great change by his victorious leadership of the Korean Revolution. Vice Marshal Kim Young Chun, Chief of General Staff of the Korean People's Army, is speaking. In his speech, he says that a grand parade and a mass rally are going to be held to demonstrate the unshakable determination and will of the soldiers and people to carry forward loyally President Kim Il-sung's imperishable achievements of nation-building in support of the party's Sungun leadership to the last. He goes on to say that as long as there are Kim Jong-il's right leadership and the single-hearted unity of the invincible armed forces and the revolutionary ranks, the Republic will always be victorious and that the soldiers and the people will build up a great prosperous powerful nation on this land without fail in solid unity behind a great leader.
별명직 준비 업무를 맡게 하여 종료하였습니다. 별명직원 대장 김종락. 동지들 안녕하십니까? 조선민주주의 명원가고 창건 시인답수석을 축하합니다. 조선노동단 총비서 조선민주주의 인민공화국 국방위원회 위원장 조선인민군 최고사인원 동지 열병부대들은 조선민주주의 인민공화국 장관 시인 답수 격주 열병식을 시작하겠습니다. 조선인민군 총참모장 조선인민군 차수 김영춘 In the overflowing atmosphere of reverence for President Kim Il-sung, the father of nation building, the flag inscribed with a portrait of the president enters the square, escorted by the colors of the Korean People's Army. All the participants expressed the deepest reverence for the president, who made immortal achievements in nation building by founding people's genuine state on this land and developing it into a socialist power which is independent, self-supporting and self-reliant in national defense. The parading units start marching across the square amid resounding cheers. Columns from military schools of different levels are marching proudly, demonstrating the vitality of the party's line of making the entire army a cadre army and modernizing the entire army. They are marching with a feeling of great honor of being under Kim Jong-il's leadership. The seasoned leadership of Kim Jong-il, the brilliant Sungun general, who strengthens the revolutionary armed forces to be invincible, has made it possible to develop an army of competent military commanders who are equipped with a Juche oriented military thought and methods of rule. Kim Jong-il has strengthened the People's Army into the main force of the revolution that leads the socialist course and into a powerful force capable of defending the country at any cost. He has set forth an original military philosophy that the army is the party, the state and the people and made a tireless effort to strengthen and develop the revolutionary armed forces.
Every soldier of the Korean People's Army has become a match for a hundred foes. Under the leadership of Kim Jong-il, who has traveled tens of thousands of miles, leaving his footprints of Sun Moon leadership on hills and mountains. The parading formations are marching with the pride of being blessed with their supreme commander from generation to generation under the leadership of the brilliant Sungun general. The invincible ranks of soldiers who always yearn for and follow their supreme commander and support the Sungun revolutionary cause in the forefront as its most faithful comrades and as its most royal men. The Korean People's Army, which has grown into a strong army of ideology, into a strong army of belief, is convinced that Kim Jong-il means the prosperous motherland, the people's happiness, and their bright future. The Supreme Commander and the soldiers of the Korean People's Army are a harmonious whole. The women soldiers render distinguished services on the post of national defense in a high morale by cherishing the spirit of safeguarding the leadership of the revolution with lives, the spirit they have inherited from the anti-Japanese heroine Kim Jong-sul. The revolutionary armed forces of Korea support their leader with such pure heart, so thoroughgoing in carrying out the Supreme Commander's orders and highly elite. The Korean People's Army is invincible because it resembles its Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il in its thought, fighting spirit and quality. The heroic Korean People's Army firmly protects the socialist cause with arms from the aggressive maneuvers of the U.S. imperialists and their satellites.
The soldiers and the people have learned the truth through their life experience, the truth that the security of the country and the victory of socialism rest on the bayonets of the people's army. The soldiers of the People's Army who have been trained under the leadership of the brilliant Sungun General are upholding their honor as the defenders of the country, creators of the people's happiness, and the standard bearers of the Sungun Revolution. The soldiers of the People's Army are making breakthrough in the main front of economic construction with unbreakable will and devoted efforts under the slogan, let us undertake both national defense and socialist construction. They set examples in all aspects and serve as a mirror for the people. The ranks of these invincible soldiers who are marching with earth-shaking steps are the proof of the greatness and vitality of the Sunbun revolutionary leadership of Kim Jong-il, who has met and broken through unprecedented adversities, flying high the flag of Sunbun. The columns of the guard units, which performed the peerless military feats in the duo die battles for the country and the people during the Fatherland Liberation War. The Korean People's Army meets out relentless punishment to the provoking enemy and answers an aggressive war by a revolutionary war. This is its firm standpoint and fighting spirit. When we have a strong army, there is nothing to be afraid of, even if immeasurably large enemy forces fall upon us, or even if the world changes a hundred times. The ranks of the Invincible Army, which is well prepared politically, ideologically and in terms of strategy and tactics, and equipped with both offensive and defensive means. This is the proud feature of the Korean People's Army, which has grown stronger under Sungun Commander Kim Jong-il's leadership. Each of the parading formations is determined to mercilessly crush the aggressors who infringe upon the sovereignty of the country and nation.
Every rank is full of determination to defend the country firmly and ensure the building of a great, prosperous, powerful nation reliably with guns, by displaying the spirit of safeguarding the leadership of revolution with rivals, the spirit of defending the country with rivals. The columns of the revolutionary schools, the successors to the Korean Revolution, are entering the square. The new generation is stealthily growing up with a determination to vigorously carry forward the ever victorious history of the Korean Revolution. They are marching through the parading ground with a determination to fight as Kim Jong Il's guards and death defying corps. The magnificent scene of the parading ground powerfully demonstrates the confidence and might of the soldiers of the Korean People's Army, who are determined to give armed support to President Kim Il-sung's nation-building cause and the cause of the Workers' Party of Korea to build a great, prosperous, powerful nation and to guard the dignity and honor of the Republic throughout the century. The parade in Kim Il-sung Square is followed by a grand mass rally of the working people in Pyongyang in celebration of the 55th birthday of the Republic. The square is pervaded by an atmosphere of deepest reverence for President Kim Il-sung who made every effort all his life for the welfare of the people. The Korean people are celebrating the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic as a great national holiday, taking great pride in working forever in support of President Kim Il-sung, founder of Socialist Korea. Foundation of the People's Country by President Kim Il-sung after winning back the sovereignty of the nation was an epoch-making event in the nation's history of 5,000 years. The people of this country who are leading happy lives in the embrace of the party and their leader are in an irrepressible excitement looking up at Kim Jong-il, the guardian and symbol of the republic. The Korean people hold the republic dearer than their own lives because they must not suffer again the lot of a ruined nation, must not forget the bloody lesson.
An ecstasy of delight of the people is now pervading the square of celebration, as if they were in excitement on the day when President Kim Il-sung proclaimed the foundation of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Because the red flag which President Kim Il-sung flew on Mount Baekdu is now fluttering as ever on this land, the Republic can now prosper as an imperishable great socialist power. When the U.S. imperialists provoked a war of aggression to swallow up the young republic in its cradle, the Korean People's Army and the Korean people fought courageously, defeated the aggressors, and honorably defended the republic under the President Kim Il-sung's leadership. Although many years have passed, the Korean people's hearts are throbbing with a pride and self-confidence of having fought at the cost of their youth and lives for their motherland, which is more precious than their own lives. The Korean people's victory in the just war for the defense of the country, the victory which demonstrated the metal of heroic career, was a great event in the history of the world which proved that no force can conquer an independent people who are solidly united behind their leader. In the struggle to break through the difficulties facing the country, President Kim Il-sung was always among the soldiers and people. The people who shared life and death and their destiny with President Kim Il-sung and demonstrated a might of a harmonious whole are determined to accomplish the Chuche revolutionary cause in stronger unity behind Kim Jong-il. His Sungan statesmanship is a precious sword and lifeline which always ensure victory, dignity and might of the Republic. The Korean people therefore absolutely trust his Sungan politics and strongly support it. Thanks to his Sungan politics, the Korean people have been able to change the arduous march into a victorious march and have become stronger and stouter in the course of this. The long road of Sungun revolution followed by the Korean people under Kim Jong-il's leadership has been the most rigorous path that has been traversed with do or die will.
It has been a road of victory along which they have advanced vigorously in the spirit of optimism, in the belief that an arduous march of a thousand miles will lead them to ten thousand miles of happiness. The people in their minds follow the traces of his leadership, wishing him safe journey and good health as he continues his endless journey of Sungun leadership by visiting units of the People's Army, catnapping and eating rice balls. The families of the soldiers of the Korean People's Army are proud of taking up guns and singing songs when they are told to do so by the Supreme Commander. The ranks of heroes and merited people who have rendered distinguished services for the party and the leader are entering the square. The demonstrators are doing greatest honor to Kim Jong-il, the hero of heroes, who has led ordinary soldiers to become heroes. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea is displaying its dignity and majestic appearance higher and higher with every passing day under Kim Jong-il's supreme leadership. Because he represents the destiny of the country and nation, the Korean people cannot leave a single moment away from his embrace.
the Korean people are unshakable in their belief and their will to revere him and trust him absolutely and follow him to the end of this world. Because they feel the worth of life in having and following Kim Jong-il and in proving themselves loyal to him, the people cannot keep back the tears of strong emotion at the moment they see him. The Korean Revolution began with Comrade Lila Love and advances with Comrade Lila Love, so that all the people in this country ardently desire to become Kim Jong Il's true comrades. It is the Korean people's will to dedicate their lives to the fight for the leader and to become bullets and bombs in that fight. Our young Vengers were growing up under the care of Kim Jong-il to shoulder the future of the revolution, make a pleasure to him to take up guns and fight on the front line if anyone dares to invade their socialist motherland. These enthusiastic cheers for their leader are the burst of the people's unbounded reverence for him, who is opening up the wide road of a great, prosperous, powerful nation at the head of their defense. The ardent desire of the people of this country to live in happiness for long in the rich and strong country which they are building by their own efforts and in their own style finds expression in the ravers of merry dancing.
A new morning for the reunification of the country on the road opened up by Kim Jong-il is dawning on the Korean Peninsula, where the people in the north and the south share the same blood, same language, same culture and same history. Before long, all the Koreans will greet the happy event of reunification they have desired so long. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea will prosper also in the new century as a country demonstrating the might of Sungun and providing the people with endless happiness. The respected names of President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il, who have brightened the republic as a proud independent state and led the people to become independent and creative beings, are cherished in the minds of the Korean people. Thanks to Kim Jong-il's leadership, President Kim Il-sung will be immortal forever as the permanent president of the republic in the minds of the Korean people and the progressive people throughout the world. Long live the great leader Kim Jong-il, the peerless patriot, who is leading the Democratic People's Republic of Korea along the road of prosperity. career which has victoriously brightened the years of stern trials of revolution will prosper for a long time in accordance with the will of President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il. The Korean people sing the song, Without you, Kim Jong-il, there would be no motherland.
The parade and the mass rally held in celebration of the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic were a great demonstration of the unshakable determination and will of the soldiers and people to erect without fail a great, prosperous, powerful socialist nation of Chuche on this land under Kim Jong Il's Sungun revolutionary leadership, as well as the demonstration of their single-hearted unity. Night on the 9th of September, young people and students had a grand gathering and a torchlight procession in Kemerson Square in celebration of the 55th birthday of the Republic. The vibrant scene of hoop field enthusiastic and merry dancing is unfolded by the young people who are living under Kim Jong Il's leadership in their socialist motherland. Young people and students have begun their torchlight procession in the brilliantly illuminated square. As the torchlight procession headed by the flag of the Kim Il Sung Socialist Youth League, the flag inscribed with a noble image of the president enters the square. Unquenchable yearning and unbounded reverence for the president are overflowing the place. The revolutionary fighters who have sturdily advanced the road of grim revolution following President Kim Il-sung and the great leader Kim Jong-il are marching forward with swollen hearts and a firm determination to follow steadily the road of revolution which started on Mount Baktu until the day of victory. The earnest wish for the President's immortality is growing stronger at this night of celebration. of the heirs to the revolution are advancing with a firm determination to fight on gallantly as the guards of Kim Jong-il, the guardian of the republic.
The achievement made by Kim Jong-il, who by his Sengun statesmanship has overcome all the challenges of history, turning misfortune into blessing and adversity into favorable situation, will shine down through generations. The harmonious whole which he has attained by knitting the army and the people together with noble comradeship and by strengthening the revolutionary ranks to be those of single-hearted unity is the true feature of Korea. Korea is demonstrating the great beautiful trait of unity between the soldiers and the people, their unity of ideology and will and fighting spirit. No force on earth can check the advance of the Korean people who are vigorously marching forward along the bright road of building a great prosperous powerful socialist nation planned by Kim Jong-il. Reunification of the country is the cherished desire of the Korean nation. All the Korean people will accelerate the advent of the great national event of happiness by their own effort in support of the will of the great leader Kim Jong-il, the pillar of strength for reunification. The torchlight procession has clearly shown the unbreakable spirit and revolutionary zeal of the Korean youth who will perform great feats in their revolutionary advance in the new century under Kim Jong-il's leadership. The Korean people and the soldiers of the Korean People's Army who have celebrated the 55th anniversary of the foundation of the Republic as a great auspicious event of the nation will brighten their motherland by means of revolutionary guns and single-hearted unity under Kim Jong-il's Sungun revolutionary leadership. Long live the glorious Democratic People's Republic of Korea!